invitation to the Suns in Dallas, Texas. The USC Trojans are here to meet the Texas Tech Red Raiders in the Cotton Bowl and to observe the passing of a long-standing college football tradition. Texas Tech, the 55th and last official Southwest Conference host team for the Cotton Bowl. More than 62,000 on hand in the stadium for the 59th renewal of this game. It will be Tony Rogers, number 98, who will kick it away. Now that was Davis, 16, with the kickoff. And it's Ken Grace who takes it for the Trojans across the 20 to about the 25-yard line. The offensive line for USC, huge, and spearheaded by consensus All-America tackle Tony Boselli, who goes 300-plus, listed at 6 feet 8 inches tall, and has had a terrific year. And the man who has replaced the departed Johnny Morton as the key receiving threat is Keyshawn Johnson, now called by his teammates and coaches the great Keyshawn Johnson. He averages nearly 20 yards a catch. On first down, the give is to starting tailback Sean Walters. And Walters, a Texas Tech Raider, Red Raider front seven, and the key man is the middle linebacker, Zach Thomas, number 35, as Todd told you, leading tackler in the Southwest Conference. Damon Wickware is another all-conference selection at defensive tackle. And in the secondary, two all-conference players, Marcus Coleman at the position they call Raider, we call it strong safety, and the free safety, Bart Thomas, also an all-conference player. Walters on second down has first down yardage across the 35. USC. Southern Cal starting off on the ground, earning the first down behind Walters. Ball's at the 37-yard line. This time, Walters is going to be met at the line of scrimmage but for Southern Cal. Rob Johnson looking to throw for the first time. Screen. Walters dropped after a couple yards gain. Football at the 37. They must get it beyond the 47 to pick up the first down. Placing Walters at tailback, and he's got on first down now from the 48-yard line. Johnson fakes to Green. Down the middle, and the pass is complete to Edward Hervey. Senior wide receiver. First possession of the game for the Trojans. 12 and a half minutes in the first quarter. Johnson looking deep in the end zone for Hervey, and Hervey unable to make the play. Second down, 10 yards to go. and gives to Leonard Green. And Green with plenty of room on the draw play is down almost to the 20-yard line. It's a good look at Boselli. Powerful left tackle. Consensus All-America for the Trojans. On first down, Johnson throws down the middle and it's batted down. Who has grown into an all-conference defensive tackle. Second down 10 for the Trojans. Leonard Green still in the football game. A tailback, Jabbar Thomas, the first possession of the game. Southern Cal. The flip to Keyshawn Johnson. He drops the football. Wickware is there. And the officials will rule in a completion, a fumble, Texas Tech ball. Freshman quarterback Debbie Lethridge creating out of the pocket as a gain of nine or ten. Offensive line for the Texas Tech Red Raiders. Relatively small. Ed Hendricks gets the start at left guard. Normal starter Casey Jones broke a foot in practice for this game. Backs and receivers and the key to the Texas Tech season was the emergence of Zebby Lethridge at quarterback. Byron Hansbard at running back. Both freshmen. His team has scored more than 30 points. On second and short, the give is to Alton Crane. And Crane breaks loose.
Heron gets the start ahead of Don Cunningham at the linebacker position. Outside linebacker Errol Small is the key to the pass rush. In the secondary, Dallas native Micah Phillips gets the start at free safety ahead of Mario Bradley today. On the year, that's tied for the lead in the Pac-10. Two punts this year. Only three have been returned for more than six yards. Number eight getting away momentarily is Ken Grace. State Fairgrounds, a full Cotton Bowl, 68,252 tickets sold. Rob Johnson and the Southern California Trojans begin their second possession of the game at their 33. Johnson looking deep to Keyshawn Johnson, and he's into Texas Tech territory to the 30 yard line and has had 100 yards or more receiving in each of the past seven games. On first down, Sean Walters with the football. And holding during the run by the offense, 10 yards from the flag, still first down. <laughs> but here a 10 yard mark off, so it is first and 20 from beyond the 40 and Sean Walters again with the football is blasted to the turf. What? Some hops. Second down, and extremely long. Johnson throws to a wide open and Herbie. And Herbie has first down yardage inside the 15 to about the 12 yard line before Zach Thomas. He's now over 100 yards in the game. Has passed Rodney Pete to become the all-time career leader. Sean Wolfers on the ground. Touchdown. No flags. have a commanding lead. 
When he wound up, the third time in a minute and 16, Cole Ford approaches it to kick it off for Southern Cal. And for the third time, Stacy Mitchell will take it just outside the goal line. And for the third time, Mitchell is met. Ball is placed at the 12-yard line. Lethridge changing the play at the line of scrimmage. Wants to throw and has it complete. In the flat to number 10, Bo Adams. Texas Tech just trying to get its collective feet on the ground. Second down, overthrows. Yeah, but he was to be careful. Debbie Lethridge, one of four in the air for three yards. In third down and seven, as Lethridge elects to scramble and is dumped by Matt Kennelly. Cade is in his end zone. Waiting deep for FC is Ken Grace. Short punt. Grace takes it at the 46. Has a return of about two yards to the 44. And you know, he's had a great year. Son's had a great career. Obviously a good game here, but uh, the pros coming up. A little sad to see him leaving home, huh? Yeah, a little sad. But we'll follow him even in the pros. We'll have a good time with it. All right, well, good luck to you guys. Thank you. Walters now six carries for 32 yards in the game. This is Walters again. the three-yard line. First and goal for the Trojans after the 30-yard run by Sean Walters. Delon Washington's first carry of the game, and Washington is stopped short of the goal line. Considerable playing time and gets some football action today. Now he goes back to the sideline. Sean Walters replaces him, and his flag is down as Walters goes into the end zone. Two flags are down. Holding on the offense during the run. Ten yards from the spot of the foul. Still second down. intended for Ken Grace. Plays over. Or he says, I can get up by myself. On third down, Johnson. Quick down to Keyshawn Johnson. Oh, what a catch by Keyshawn. First time in the 59-year history of the game that a team has scored 28 points in one quarter. Take a look at the feet of Keyshawn Johnson, as you mentioned. Great catch, only has to have one in bounds. A deep comeback route by Johnson certainly paid dividends there. Cole Ford in danger of getting leg weary here in the first quarter. Spike Dykes says this is a bad movie. Traveler on the sideline. As Cole Ford kicks it away for Southern Cal. This time it'll be Dane Johnson, and Johnson judiciously... yard line holding on the return Tom. team 10 yards from the end of the kick first down first and 10 from the 31 yard line and Dillon Washington on the field has the football and a gain of eight second down two Washington again stepping inside and so it's third down two from the 39 yard line Rob Johnson dropping straight back and it's complete over the middle to John Allred sophomore tight end out of Del Mar and that is the end of the first quarter with the score in the 59th annual Cotton Bowl game USC 28 Texas Tech nothing Jones lead 28 zip over Texas Tech as the second period begins Rob Johnson pump fake holds on to the football Robert Johnson was there but tries to make up for it by hitting hard second down 16 on the 45 yard line the football away. Delon Washington is dragged down because it was Robert Johnson, as you saw, along with Jabbar Thomas making the stop. On third down, though, Johnson throws complete. The number 88, Herbie. Bob Johnson now.
Sanford, the man who founded the Cotton Bowl six decades ago. On first down for Texas Tech, Byron Hansbard has a gain of a couple. He arrived here with a record of 10 wins, no losses. Debbie Leffords on second down, tries to throw a screen pass, but reserve fullback Rod Hobbs. Now, Elmer Tarbach, who was a teammate of yours, just passed away. You got any uh, remembrances of him? Oh, he's in You saw the pass to Tony Darden. Darden was out of bounds. And that brings on another punting situation for Texas Tech. Deep to kick it away again is Brad Cade. I may be losing count here, but I think that's Cade's fifth part of the game. And Grace is hit as he tries to field it. Home and loose football belongs to the Red Raiders. Mark Thomas on the ball. Marcus Coleman was the man who hit the punt return. Contact with it, Brad Cade. Man, 15 yards. For Texas Tech is that it's first down Southern Cal at the Red Raider 44 after the 15-yard markoff. And freshman Delon Washington with the football. Second down, six yards to go with the football at the 40-yard line. Give us to Rodney Sermons. And Sermons has a gain of maybe a yard. Nice to see the natural stuff back. Keyshawn Johnson in motion to give us to Sermons on third. to the 29. Together with Fordell Stewart and Michael Westbrook and Rashawn Salam and all the rest. On first down, SC from the 30. Delon Washington ducks inside. After a crucial position. Almost a glamour position now. Washington with the catch over the middle. Belts it from behind. Biggest hit of the game is on third down three for the Trojans. It's Robbie Sermons with the football and Chris Ory. Jeremy Hogue, the center, is a and potential Rhodes Scholar candidate. This time, Cole Ford is true. Down the middle for the field goal that stretches SC's lead in the football game to 31-0. A 39-yard kick for Cole Ford. And SC's got a 31-zip lead with seven minutes to go to halftime. Cole Ford again to kick it off. Only you, Todd. No, 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 you saw it. Only you. First down for the Red Raiders. Debbie Leffert gets away from the run. Now fires incomplete down the sideline. 15 yard penalty for roughing the passer against the defense. First down. New defensive coordinator for SC watches on the sideline. Penalty Markoff gives Texas Tech the first down. And Hansbard. Gets it across the 40. Full of all the highlights and scores for you at the half. Let's send it back to Jim and Todd at the Cotton Bowl. And as we bring you back here, Byron Hansbar to get you. Unfortunately, conduct against the defense, 15 yards, first down. He heard it from Daryl Russell. Daryl Russell is still moaning about the call that he had earlier. This time, Lethridge is sacked. This is his primary language. Is it Lagos, the hometown of uh, Olajuwon as well? Second down and long, Todd Walker with the carry. Third down, 22 yards to go now for Lethridge and the Raiders. They need to get it inside the SC 35 for a first down. Lethridge moves up the sideline into punt coverage last time when Marcus Coleman was called for roughing. This 
time, Cage kick sails into the end zone. The fumble was inside the 15-yard line. Rob Johnson on first down, complete to Keyshawn Johnson, and Keyshawn steps out of bounds. At a and it must be noted that the victory came with the other quarterback, Bucky Richardson, at the helm. Rob Johnson. So that little ballet makes it interesting at second and 18. They get to Walters, and Walters, who has certainly been the hardest running of the SC tailbacks today. Third down eight after the 10-yard pickup by Walters. And Johnson going deep. First time, average 44.1 yards per kick this season. This one's shorter than that. And perfect coverage. Crowd calling for an early hit fly. Al Ford. Five-yard violation against the kicking team with a receiver. Five yards, first down. Once again, as you mentioned earlier, in the NFL, that's a great play. Lethbridge on first down. Scrambling and firing wildly. Total dominance. The scoreboard reflects that. I should say, telling a story not unlike that of the scoreboard. On second down, 10. Last prize, Lethbridge is fast. is kicked off by Harris. Today, with his second interception of the game. SC up 31 nothing already. Flag down as Rob Johnson waits and throws almost a touchdown to Keyshawn Johnson. Holding on the offense, 10 yards from the spot of the foul. Still first down. And now make it first down, 24 yards to go. Football is at the 30. They got to get it to the six for a first down. Rob Johnson throws down the middle, and it's complete to tight end Johnny McWilliams. Rob Johnson having used all three timeouts for strategy conferences with Coach John Robinson on second and 15. Under pressure, Johnson pulls the football down and is dropped by DeBar Thomas for first down. Keyshawn Johnson out of the slot. They go down the middle instead, and it's complete for first down yardage to Johnny McWilliams. Defense lined up in the neutral zone. Got holding on the offense. The penalty's all set. Still third down. Catch part of the colorful Cotton Bowl halftime show. All of that coming your way. Third down, 19. Rob Johnson throws. Wide of a receiver. Pull forward already with one field goal to his credit in the game. One was from 39. This will be a 42-yard try. He's got plenty of legs, but he's often inaccurate on these. This one, however, he gets between the uprights, and that stretches the SC lead to 34 nothing with 17 seconds remaining in the half. Ford again kicks it deep into the end zone against Tony Darden, who's since been moved to wide receiver. Which completes one to Darden, and Darden goes out of bounds across the 30. On second down, another Lethbridge completion to Darden. Missing practices with his receivers couldn't connect in the Fiesta Bowl. Lethbridge, Darden, third straight completion. Darden goes out of bounds again. Clock shows no time, so that is the end of that particular Texas Tech offensive effort their best of the first half and what was for the Red Raiders and their fans a miserable anticlimax after 56 years of waiting to get to Dallas leaves SC with a 34 nothing halftime and then on to 34 nothing where it stands right now you look at the halftime stats reflecting USC's total domination 334 yards of total offense for the Trojans and now the already leg weary Cole Ford kicks the ball almost out of the end zone Leverage still at quarterback on first down he fakes to Alton Crane football puts himself at risk a little bit number five tailback byron hansbard the freshman from desoto texas comes on leverage looking for hansbard in the flat gets the football to him and sammy knight third down five now the football at the 25 yard line leverage complete the number 24 matt debuck and debuck is out to the 35 5 863 pound sophomore from fort lauderdale florida with that reception 
Hansbard with the pitch, and Jeff Kopp is there to make the stop. Took a lot of this hurry up and three and out stop. All wide receivers on second down eight. Lockridge got away from Mahomes rush, kept the football, and finally was driven out of bounds by Kopp. Four wide again on third and six. And Lockridge flips the football toward Alton Crane. In the first half, Ken Grace waits to receive for SC at about his 24-yard line. This one will drop and be downed. Short kick. Might have been a touchdown. Bart Thomas with what amounts to a desperation shoestring tackle after the long gainer of 32 yards from Johnson to Johnson. Same route that he had earlier, the top of your screen. It's a flag route. He runs clear across the field to the opposite flag. Good throw by Johnson and right there. Just stumbles at the end or else he might have gone the distance. Sean Walters had a running touchdown. Rob Johnson threw a touchdown pass to Terry Barnum and John Herpin ran an interception in. Those were the four SC touchdowns in the first half. Okay, we'll take your pick. They won enough to get to the Cotton Bowl this year. On second down four, Sean Walters with the football. On first and ten from the 22. This is Leonard Green. On second and 12. Leonard Green had running room for a moment, but the hole quickly closed. At 59 years of age, yeah, it's amazing. Third down, 10. Johnson down the middle to Keyshawn. And Keyshawn's got a touchdown. What an effort. Wow. Here comes the Heisman pose. No, he's not going to do it. But he does pull off the helmet and celebrate. But he's going to be thinking long and hard over the next two months about that particular decision. Powerful, graceful player, six feet four inches tall, 205 pounds. Cole Ford nails the extra point. Ten minutes, 29 seconds to go in the third quarter in Dallas. SC leads 41 nothing. He says he's going to be thinking about trying to win the Heisman next year. Pretty tough to do it from the wide receiver position. Cole Ford kicks it off the side of his foot. Out of bounds inside the 10-yard line. First down and 10 for the Red Raiders of Texas Tech. The long-suffering Zebby Lethridge throws and completes. The first down yardage along the sideline to Tony Darden. And it was so unruly that security had to come and escort him out. <laughs> escorted the mascot out punched into the air, number 90, Marcus Bonds. Wow. Second down, 10. Lethridge changing the play at the line of scrimmage. Getting away from pressure. And then finding his way toward other pressure up in that outfit. Yes. Saturday night fever, it ain't. On third down, nine, Lethridge fires and almost completes. Cole Ford has done for the Trojans of SC. Problem, Cade's a punter, Ford's a place kicker. <laughs> Great punt. Most effective play of the day for the Red Raiders. A lot of offensive players, including quarterback Cordell Stewart. Meanwhile, Rob Johnson apparently has finished his active playing career for USC as Brad Otten comes on to quarterback the Trojans. And amongst the teams, I believe Seattle was one. Still bouncing, Salisbury. Sean Walters with the football. I think he's a very accurate passer. Big guy at 6'4", 220. He's got a shot. Third down seven for Brad Otten and the Trojans. And Otten is going to get a touchdown pass to Keyshawn Johnson. And this will be, if there are no flags, and there aren't, an 86-yard TD pass from Otten to Johnson. Keyshawn's going to break some receiving yardage records today. There was no defender within, oh, 40 yards of Keyshawn as he took it on into the end zone. It'll be an 86-yard TD pass, which will stretch the lead to 47-0, who's uh, likely to break some Cotton Bowl records for kick scoring today. And Ford's extra point. They're going to be looking soon to see if, if the backup kicker wants to get a little action. Well, maybe not. He enjoys this. Well, you keep talking about being leg weary, and the guy keeps kicking it into the end zone. So. Ten or the winner of the whack, and we've developed a parlay with the Holiday Bowl in San Diego where we pick first, and then they will pick the other team. And in the event that one of those two teams, it's always been one of the most enjoyable bowl, bowl games I've ever seen. I want to thank you for your hospitality, and good luck. My thank pleasure. You. Thank you. Head. Some distance. 
SC trying for the block and almost getting it. Grace allows it to roll. It takes a Texas Tech roll, and uh, so once again, the punt will not be returned. Eight catches, 222 yards, the 222, a Cotton Bowl record, and just seven yards short of an SC record. On the first down, Trojan staying conservative on the ground. Boselli is as good as any of the great names to have played on the offensive front for the men of Troy in the past. Brad Otten, reserve quarterback already with one touchdown pass unleashes his effort for another. He's one of the greatest names in the history of that great program. Dillon Washington with the catch. Steve for Texas Tech. John Stonehouse to punt as the Trojans are stopped. And the punt bounces into the end zone, so fifth to first in the polls as a result of defeating Texas in the Cotton Bowl. 17 tackles for goal effecting. Look at the time for Zebby Lethridge. Unloads complete to Jason Lavender. It'll be second down four. 437, clock running in the third period. for a gain of about five from the 24. Red Raiders trying to get on the scoreboard. Lethridge with plenty of open territory in front of him, chooses to throw, and Gordon makes an acrobatic catch inside the five. Out of bounds at the three-yard line for him for the job. Battled Lethridge early in the season. Ultimately, Zebby came on and Tony moved to receiver. Now Lethridge trying to get into the end zone, winds up losing a couple. Center Scott Fitzgerald said to us the other day, half the job as an offensive lineman for this team is being aware of where Zebby is. Stacy Mitchell with the dropage. They arrived as a package this fall in Lubbock. On third down, Lethridge. whistled dead. Before the ball was snapped, move was by the offense, five yards, still one try. Well, for their first time as Southwest Conference rep, but they fell just a little bit short. And now Field gets to play on the final Texas Tech team to actually make it as the Cotton Bowl representative from the Southwest Conference and holds for the successful PAT. Nine play, 80-yard drive, took two and a half minutes on the clock with... Six players back at the 15. Now they get a full running start. Here comes the onside try. And it looks like the Red Raiders have covered it. Well, they've covered it, but it was before 10 yards. The beneficiary of his team's inspired play that day here in Dallas. On first down for SC, Otten throws complete to Ken Grace. And second down, less than a yard to go for a first down. Otten drops straight back and says, let's try for a touchdown and throws it. Incomplete intended for Larry Parker, and yeah, it's inescapable. Oh, they have a maze color. Third down, less than a yard for an SC first down. Trojans lead 48-7 in the third. Brad Otten gets to Sean Walters, and no one is fooled. Both of them touchdown catches by Keyshawn Johnson, and then Texas Tech came back to finally get on the board. Otten throwing on fourth down. Overthrow John Allred, the tight end. team is down 48-7. Nothing will dampen Red Raider enthusiasm in Dallas today. Zebby Lethridge throws complete to Tony Darden and the Rock. On first and 10 from the SC 47, Lethridge completes the screen to Rod Hobbs and Hobbs fights for yardage inside the SC 45. The third quarter comes to a close in Dallas. So with three periods down, SC 
USC leading Texas Tech 48-7. We'll be back after these messages from your local station. That his team would earn that trophy today, named for his grandfather. But tough sledding for the moment. Releases the pass a few yards out of bounds, and he has shown some stuff here today. So, as you say, Lethbridge and Darden showing promise for future passing combination fireworks at Texas Tech. This time, Darden was looking for number 18, Sheldon Bass, out of Duncanville. Goes ahead and snaps it to Cade, and Cade goes ahead and kicks it away. And this is Larry Parker. Bringing it back for SC, and Parker's across the 15 to about the 16-yard line. Shots of that 1938 Red Raider jacket you saw as we came back from commercial there. Brad Otten gives the football to Rodney Sermons. This is their chance to shine. Well, they put 61 on the board against Cal, so a lot of these guys surely played in that game. Second down, Otten throws across the middle of Larry Parker. And Parker has big yardage across the 35 near the 40, Bart Thomas. 528 total yards now in the game for SC. Sermons with the call on first down at home. Brad Otten, sophomore quarterback out of Tumwater, Washington, a transfer from Weber State, who literally fell into the lap of John Robinson and the Trojan program this year. Otten down the middle, and Parker almost made the catch. Number 25, Sean Hurd. Mark, mark this Holden off. Holden to the offense on the play. 10 yards a great story. Spot, yeah. second down. Brad turned around and said, well, maybe SC. I've heard of that student body right, student body left stuff. But I also remember hearing about a big red-headed quarterback who never had a Big Mac in his life. Sounds intriguing. Sean Walters with the call. And Walters, on second down, is stopped by... Third down, 17 now for SC, with 12-15 remaining in the game. And we'll get a look at Otten's arm, and Larry Parker is unable to hold on to the program. On field to punt it away is number 17, John Stonehouse of SC. Stonehouse's powerful leg delivers the ball inside the Texas Tech 20, number 10. Bo Adams on the reception there. This fumble by Bo Adams off that punt by John Stonehouse. It was recovered by Texas Tech. So Zebby Lethridge and company operating again. He has another year of eligibility. Should he choose to use it? No. Tony Darden is now operating at quarterback for Texas Tech. Darden with four wide receivers. Throws into the flat. It's 18 of 29, 167 yards, one rushing TD, two interceptions. Darden throws, Crane drops. It'll be third down. Cotton Bowl officials in the community of Dallas wanted it to end. Byron Hansbard goes in motion from tailback. Darden gets away from Willie Lowry. And now with room, Darden throws downfield, out of bounds. Flag goes down. Quarterback was across the line of scrimmage when he made the pass. Penalty is declined. Fourth down. In the record? Could be. We'll have to rifle through the old Cotton Bowl record book one more big time. As the punt is handled by Larry Parker. Heisman Trophy winner Rashan Salam, one of the stars you'll see in that game. And now USC. <laughs> with as enviable a Heisman Trophy history as just about any other school. Where well, they're holding it so tight, it looks like it might be. Sean Walters, the sophomore from Arlington, Texas, a Division I AA rusher. Second most yards in the season. Hotton throws down the middle. And Laval Woods. Number 63 for the USC Trojans, mm. Andre Abrams gets pushed into him. Fortunately, he's all right. Walters met at the line of scrimmage, and now the Red Raiders swarm over him. How's that for a wild guess? Bogus. Bogus, huh? Possibly. Second down 11 with 8 minutes, 10 seconds to go. For the 1,000-yard gains, and now guys go 16 games to get 1,000. That's the NFL. Third down, pass incomplete from Otten. Herman. Dane Johnson is deep to receive as John Stonehouse punts it away for SC and Johnson fumbles the football and it looks like a white jersey might have gotten to it. It would give SC another possession and a possible scoring threat inside the Texas Tech 20 if the officials agree with all those SC players who are pointing toward that goal line. And they do. 
recently played before I think more than 30,000 in uh, the Big A in Anaheim for regional high school championship. Wasn't Bishop Lamont the school with uh, J.K. McKay and found a way to hide Garrett behind the Jim Tyras of the world? Field goal, 51-7 would give them 44. On third down, Sermons with the ball and the game is well in hand. No desire to embarrass the Red Raiders or Dykes. Or any of those longtime Southwest Conference stalwarts in Dallas who have respect for the Cotton Bowl game, but alas, he fooled us. There's a pass down the middle. Four and a half minutes to go. Touchdown. Flag down. Flag by the referee. Illegal shift. Man never got set. Five yards, still first down. Ditz indicating that he might not be mentally prepared to play with this complicated offense, right? Two <laughs> throws, incomplete, intended for Jeff Dilt. After the penalty, it is second down and goal from the eighth. Called to third. The penalty preserved it down, and now Rodney Sermons. Sermons. Although on the most recent fourth down try, Cotton threw to Dilts down the middle. Now here he's going to throw again. And Dilts makes the catch. Donnie Taylor was there, number 49, to cover, but Dilts had enough daylight to reach out and cradle the Otten throw with one hand, and so... Boots the extra point out of Ryan Lenderman's hold, and with two minutes, 40 seconds remaining in the game, Southern Cal's in position to achieve the largest margin of victory ever in the Cotton Bowl. Seven for Texas Tech, now Ford to kick off yet again. Exceptionally short kick for Ford. It is fielded on the fly by one of the up men for Texas Tech. And now those of you in Southern California and Texas remain to see the completion of this football game. And new on the field at quarterback is Son Cavazos. Clock running. Just over two minutes remaining. Cavazos under pressure. And the lefty fires it in and out of the hands. A third down, nine yards to go for the Red Raiders of Texas Tech at their own 32-yard line. Lavender in motion. Cavazos' throw is almost intercepted. Sonny, Sonny Six Killer. Oh, <laughs> oh Sonny. Oh, okay. That was Sonny. Fourth down nine for Sonny Cavazos and the Red Raiders. Had a moment of running room, but now he's going to be wrapped up. At... Matt Koffler. Wait a little bit longer and go as soon as the clock runs out here, and we have a final for you in the Cotton Bowl. On second down, Gannett tailback, Coppler at quarterback. Red Raiders looking for the run and stopping it at the line of scrimmage. Seven consecutive losses by the Southwest Conference representative. Mark of the hard times on which that conference fell in recent years. It's an absolute juggernaut. They look terrific. Throws complete. Nice throw. Down the middle of the field, Scoville has a catch that will be remembered in his family for a long, long time. Cavazos <laughs> throwing. If he wasn't beyond the line of scrimmage, they'll get credit for a touchdown. Stacy Mitchell into the end zone. The clock has run out. Well, Jim, one thing that that does is that the record for the biggest margin That's of right. victory now is no longer. Davis. And with no time on the clock, Davis kicks the extra point. It goes through and makes it 55-14. So a moment of celebration for the Raiders amid this crushing defeat. Again, the final score, Trojans 55, Red Raiders 14. Coming up next, the IBM OS2 Fiesta Bowl with the Colorado Buffaloes battling the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. 